Hi, this is John and Jackie with OpenLove101.com. And recently I wrote a blog about swinging as a threesome. And this story involved a vacation that John and I went on that included a friend of ours. And it kind of chronicled the story about the progression of the relationship between the three of us. And as a result of that, I received an email from a gentleman saying if the shoe had been on the other foot and it had been a gentleman on the vacation with us, it would have been a different outcome. And I, you know, I thought about it and I felt like it was important enough to touch on that because I think it can be easy uh, sometimes to think, well, you know, it's just John's getting to um, reap the benefits of having, you know, multiple women, and it wouldn't be the same if Jackie got to do that with multiple men, and, and I thought it was important enough to touch on. So I brought it to John's attention, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let John take it from here. <laughs> well, part of the, the misconception comes from the fact that a lot of the things you write about are your feelings when I'm with someone and I don't think a lot of our audience realizes but you have a lot of those same experiences with men and, and we just haven't taken a lot of time to write about them I think we've got a couple of videos where we touch yeah. upon it but um, it has happened to where uh, multiple times where Jackie's been with, with another man and I've been able to experience it in s some way and you know, I guess this would be a good time to talk about the feelings that I have in that. And I've had friends over the years <clears throat> ask me, you know, or tell me, how can you do such a thing? You know, how could you let your wife be with someone else? I could never let my wife be with someone else. You know, it would cause me too much jealousy or I would get angry or, you know, all kinds of reasons not to do it. And, you know, there was a time where I may have had some of those fears, but as time goes on, uh, those fears become less and less and they get replaced with enjoyment. And uh, I mean, it, it really is a turn on for me for Jackie to be with someone else. Um, one of our first experiences together as a swinger, it was actually uh, someone that Jackie and I met. We didn't, didn't know the person until we got there. And uh, it was Jackie's first experience as a threesome with you know the, the three of us and me watching it first and kind of coaching her on. And it was really, a huge turn on for her, a great turn on for me, and when we finished there, we went home and we had a great experience there talking about that, not just that night, but for days. We talked about that experience together and how much fun it was and, and, and you know, how it turned me on. I know Jackie had some fears about that going into it, like how is John really going to feel when he's even with someone else? And, and, and how am I going to feel about it? Yes. And so we talked about that beforehand. I mean, you asked me, you know, are you tricking me? Are you really going <laughs> to enjoy doing this? And, uh, and then we talked about it afterwards, and she found that those fears were dumbfounded. They're, they're, they really didn't have any. Well, and I think another thing that's so important to remember when you're dealing with being in an open relationship or being in a swinging relationship is it's not necessarily about um, quotas, you know, well, you've been with somebody, so then I get to be with somebody, or we've done this, and so now you get to do this, or uh, everything has to be even Steven. The situation that arose with us with the vacation is not only was it something that John was excited to be able to experience, but I was too. Mm -hmm. I mean, all three of us in, in that dynamic were excited about being able to explore uh, a different angle of a relationship. And so it wasn't so much, I never really went into it thinking, oh, oh wow, John's getting to um, experience being on vacation with his wife and some other woman. That never even really entered my mind. It was more about, gosh, the three of us get to go on vacation together. <laughs> I mean, we enjoyed each other's company. Uh, the, we have a lot of things in common that we like to do. And so it was just a great experience. We got it, to see new things together that none of us had seen before. And... Right. It, was, it wasn't really so much about um, 
the, you know, the fact that I was somehow being left out of something because there, there wasn't a guy there. Because there was a guy there. John was there. <laughs> <laughs> so I think that's an important thing to remember t as, as well. Um, we've, both John and I have had experiences with other people um, together and alone, and the experiences have been fantastic, regardless of the outcome, because we've been able to share in those experiences together, and we've been able to talk about it afterwards, and we've been able to decide from those experiences the things that we want to continue doing, and maybe be introduced to some some things we didn't even know we wanted to try. Or we come away saying, you know what, maybe that, maybe that isn't something that we really want to uh, take any further. But at least we know. And I think that's the other really vital part about being involved in this kind of a relationship is you give each other permission to try these things. Because sometimes you don't know if you like something until you, until you actually do it. And that's that's one of the great benefits, at least for me, in being in an open relationship or a swinging relationship or sex positive or whatever you want to call it. It's that time together to learn not only about each other, but yourself. True. In this trip that we took with our friend, it, it also helped us to develop a friendship. And so there are cases where, you know, I have friends, girlfriends. friends, and, but Jackie's made some friendships along the way as well. And so she definitely has guys that are friends of hers that I enjoy being around too. So, you know, back to this letter and what if the shoe was on the other foot? Well, it, it has been many times. We just haven't really shared that much about it. And it always has been a good experience for me when she's been with someone else. And having her come home and tell me about a date that she just had and how much fun they had or something that her boyfriend cook for her and how much they enjoyed that or vice versa. I could go to someone's house and have someone else cook for me and come home and tell Jackie about it. We've actually used some recipes at one yeah. of my friends. <laughs> so there's all these things that you're able to communicate with each other and develop friendships that in, in a normal vanilla relationship like I have been in in the past, you wouldn't have those opportunities. Um, where it, I wouldn't have the opportunity to, to maintain my friendships with other women that I am able to with Jackie and, and vice versa. Right. So we'll, we'll write about them and we'll get them up. Don't worry. <laughs> All right. So be sure and check out openlove101.com. Sign up on our email list and we'll send you uh, updates to new blogs and videos that we have coming out. We have some trips coming up that you need to check out as well. We're going to uh, Europe again in November on a cruise down the Danube River and we'll be in Jamaica this summer. So please check out those trips and join us there if you're able to. All right. In the meantime, see ya. See ya. <laughs>